where's your best friend now, SpongeBob? Well, according to this T-shirt, it says my best friend is right here. <laughs> How about now? Right by my side. <laughs> wow, clothing that announces our feelings for each other. Let's get him, Patrick. Can I help you, boys? I believe you can. My best friend and I would like to purchase... <laughs> Patrick, why are you crying? You found a new best friend? Oh, what are you... <laughs> ah! Wait, no, this isn't what it looks like. <laughs> Patrick, look out behind you! Excuse me, but this is coming... No! You're not my best friend! We gotta ditch these outfits. They're sending off the wrong signals. <laughs> we need new outfits to show our best friendiness, Pat. You mean like those guys? Yeah, just like those guys. <sighs> best friend outfits like these really make a statement. Look at these guys. <laughs> Whoa, I like that one. Hey, mister, where did you and your friends get your matching outfits? Oh, no, these aren't my friends. In fact, I hate just about everyone here. But my love for historical battles is so great, I join these losers every year to reenact the Battle of Bikini Bottom. There was a Battle of Bikini Bottom? Huh? Well, duh, SpongeBob. It's only the most significant event in Bikini Bottom history. A long time ago, the town was divided into two groups. Those who spent all their time washing their hands like softies. Clean as a whistle. And those who had more important things to do with their time. <sighs> that looks good to me. That is truly disgusting. Oh, yeah? You can't go around our town touching things with those filthy mitts. Oh, yeah? Yes. Wash your hands now! And that's how we won our right to wash as we please. Uh, that's not what happened. You don't wash your hands, Patrick? Never have, never will. Ugh. Does that bother you, huh, SpongeBob? They only had one ice cream cone. That's okay. Thank you, friend. <laughs> so, anyway, I said... Wait, you got something on your tongue. Really? Here. I get it. Thank you. Frankly, yes, Patrick, that does bother me. Well, then I, I guess we can't be friends. What are you saying? Uh, do I have to spell it out for you? You are... Um, how do you spell not my friend? Oh, come on. We can work this out. We'll start a new life. Just you, me, and this can of disinfectant spray. Come on in, Patrick. Here, let me take your coat for you. No, thank you. I happen to like my various smells and germs. But being clean is so much better. Well, says you, I like dirty. Clean. Dirty. Clean. Uh, excuse us, but we have a battle to reenact. Fine. If that's how it is, then I am joining the other side. Well, fine, me too. Oh, come on. Let's go play somewhere else. your nose. Hey, give it back. Not until you wash your hands. Oh, yeah? Well, I got your eyeballs. <laughs> huh? Ah! Oh, brain juice. Did you give up yet? Sorry, Patrick, but a filthy slob like you is no match for a clean-cut fellow like me. Your pants are falling down. Really? I'll fix it. Satisfied? There! You look good then. You could use a makeover, though. Ugh, look at those feet. Why? What's wrong with them? Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Go, go, go! Oh, no! Not a pedicure! Oh, no, no, not that! Anything but that! Not nail polish! You sick little monster! Face my morning breath! You, sir, could use some dental hygiene. Who, oh, me? My teeth are fine. See? A little toothpaste and you'll have teeth like mine. 
The gloves are off now. It's booger time. Oh, booger schmooger, you don't even have a nose. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh. Ah! Booger! Ah! Ah! Run, Mr. Krabs! Patrick is digging for gold! <laughs> gold? <laughs> Did you get any of Patrick's gold? He's not digging for any gold I'm looking for. Aha! I've got you now! Careful, Patrick, I got a weapon! Rockets! That doesn't... See this? A Krabby Patty? What are you gonna do, eat it? Oh, I'm not going to eat it. No! Not Daddy Sock! That's right. Your precious patties on my stinky feet. You better stop that. <laughs> stinky little feet. Hold on. <laughs> oh, you stop that right now! Hopping. Clubs! <laughs> hey, I got my filth back. Not for long, Mr. Stinky Shorts. You won't have your filth once I use this on ya. No, not so. You wouldn't dare. Prime me. Stay back. I'll do it. It's too late for that. <laughs> My beautiful filth. It's gone. I'm squeaky clean. Ah, I'm covered in muck and scum. Man. To get my filth back, I'll have to wallow in mud forever. It'll take weeks for me to get clean. I need 20 baths a day. Slathered toe jam on my armpits. I have to disinfect my eyeballs. Smear slime on my teeth. And dry clean my uvula. <laughs> all all right. right! Now that I'm filthy, I can spend all day getting clean. And since I'm clean, I can get even filthier! Thanks, SpongeBob! No, Patrick. Thank you. You're, You're my, my best, best friend, friend ever. ever! Hey, what's going on here? This battle isn't over until we have a winner. Fret not, my friend, for I have learned the truth. It matters not whether one is dirty or clean, for can cleanliness exist without filthiness? And would we know filthiness without cleanliness? We must not reenact the history that divides us. Rather, we must embrace that which draws us together. All must be free to choose their own path. Right, friend Patrick? Squeaky clean! Squeaky, it's squeaky. Mm -hmm. He has embraced the truth. Wow. I think the little yellow guy has taught us a valuable lesson. And what is that, my son? That reenacting battles is really lame. Come on, guys. Let's play something more manly like football or hockey or knitting fluffy sweaters. Yeah! Come, Patrick. My work here is done.